Um, there's, there's many reasons why, uh, why one shouldn't keep monkeys as pets. Uh, to, to name a few, um, many of the people do it for the wrong reasons. Uh, simplifying to say that they actually buy a monkey for their own benefits, not for the benefit of the animal itself. Um, people tend to want to make monkeys or primates into, into human beings. And uh, over many years of experience in monkey land, we've noticed that that's not possible. You can't make a monkey human. You can change it around and you can make uh, human beings to monkeys. That uh, I see basically daily. But um, the other way around is where, where the problems actually arise. Um, the people who buy monkeys buy them when they're really cute and cuddly and they only buy really, really young animals which are easily sold by the pets or pet traders or if you like the breeders. But um, soon that novelty wears out. Uh, sexual maturity is one of the big problems. Uh, the onset of adulthood creates a lot of changes in, in an animal, the same as a human being. And these changes uh, often tend to become uh, very frustrated for the animal. We, we generally don't maintain that monkeys are aggressive species or dangerous animals, but due to frustration uh, they tend to have aggressive tendencies. These tendencies will be acted out on the persons involved in, in the hand rearing of these animals and it, it's really just simple that the monkeys just can't stand it anymore, they don't understand what they are, they don't like what they're getting done, they don't want the nappies on, they don't want to be treated like human beings, all that they want to be is just monkeys with their own kind. The social aspect of monkey life as well is something that you'll take away from an animal. Um, it's actually unfair to have an animal in a captive environment as a single animal, whereby it actually should be a, sort of a social animal with a lot of other individuals of its own species being able to act out its completely normal behavioural uh, issues, um, breeding, um, socialising, grooming, playing, fighting, you name it, they're all pretty much very important for the animal. If you take these away from them and you confine them to one single cage and just give them a few bits of food every now and again, and not interacting because you're scared of him at the moment, you're actually really not doing that animal a favour. It's, um, it's, it's really on my part, it's, it's egoistic. People who buy them really only considering their own needs, their own personal needs, and if they have the financial means to do it, they, they won't really be worried about the consequences of the animal. They'll just buy the animal, a few years later down the road they'll say, oops, I made a mistake, what now? Um, this is a very important function of monkey land, is, is that we're in that situation where we can actually describe what is going to happen, um, which the breeders should do, but of course as they're wanting to make money out of, they won't. Um, and people who have or want to buy a monkey can then um, you know, speak to us about it and actually see what we do and, and what problems they will face. Um, to that, the people who have bought monkeys in the past, who, who love them dearly, um, there, there's no, no question about that, uh, soon realize that this is not the way that um, their monkey is going to get happy and old. They then have the possibility to bring that animal to monkey land.